Today on The Daily Dose, Alice takes a trip. First published in 1865, Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, now commonly shortened to Alice in Wonderland, was first conceived three years before publication, when Carroll and the Reverend Robinson Duckworth rode up the headwaters of the River Thames in a boat with three young girls, a day which Carroll remembered as the golden afternoon. Carroll, whose real name was Charles Dodson, was a professor of mathematics at Christ Church University at Oxford. And on that golden afternoon, Lorena, Edith, and Alice were the daughters of Christ Church University's vice chancellor, Henry Liddell. The boat ride began at Follybridge, Oxford, and ended up five miles away in the Oxfordshire village of Godstow. Along the way, Carol made up a story for the girls about a bored little girl named Alice who falls through a rabbit hole into a subterranean fantasy world populated by peculiar anthropomorphic creatures. All three girls became transfixed by the story, prompting Alice Liddell to ask that Carol write it all down for her. Since its first publication, Alice in Wonderland has risen in stature to become one of the best known and most popular works of English language fiction. While its narrative, structure, characters, and imagery have been enormously influential in popular culture and literature, especially the fantasy genre. The work has never fallen out of print and has been translated into at least 97 languages. Character allusions are manifold, including Alice Liddell as herself, while Carol is characterized as the dodo, because Dodson frequently stuttered when he spoke, which made him pronounce his last name as Dodo Dodson. Symbolism provides another rich landscape in the story, since most of the book's adventures may have been influenced by people, situations, and buildings in Oxford, and at Christ Church in particular. For example, the rabbit hole symbolized the actual stairs in the back of Christ Church's main hall, while a carving of a griffin and a rabbit were pulled directly from Ripon Cathedral, where Carol's father was a canon. The book also makes many references to mathematics, which at the time of publication made the book a scathing satire on new modern mathematics that was just emerging in the mid-19th century. And there you have it. Alice takes a trip. Today on The Daily Dose.